Within this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and cover how to use the sequencer to animate a camera from one place to another. We're also going to cover how to actually trigger it, as well as a few little lesser known tricks that exist inside of the sequencer that can be really helpful. So let me go ahead and show you what we're going to create. So what I'm going to need is to start the game here. And when I walk up onto this little plinth, the camera will begin to actually animate and move over to the NPC that we see right here around the corner. Once this has moved into where it needs to, it's actually going to zoom right back to our player. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and I'll show you how to make this happen. To start this off, let's go ahead and create the actual sequence. And we can do that up here in the very top of our interface, this little button right here. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go ahead and say add level sequence. And it's gonna ask me where I actually wanna put this and what it is that I actually wanna name it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a folder I've already created called sequences and we're just gonna call this one fly through and say save. And immediately, I'm actually going to get the sequencer down here at the bottom. And now this is going to look very familiar as that it's basically just a timeline. Now, the next thing I want to go ahead and do is create the camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my camera right where I want this camera to start, just to kind of give it a head start on what I'm doing. And once I've got it there, all I need to do is click on this little button right here to go ahead and create a cine camera actor. So there we go. Now I'm actually inside this camera. You can tell because I've got the black bars on the left and right. But more importantly, you can tell because this up here actually says that I am piloting the camera. Now what I want to do is actually get the camera to go from one place to the next. So I'm going to have to set up keyframes. And this is where the sequencer down here at the bottom is going to come in handy. So down here at the very bottom, you'll find a little section that says transform. And this is what we're going to be keying. Now, I only want to transform the location and the rotation. I don't want to have to worry about any of the scale. So I'm going to make sure that my little marker right here is on the very first frame. And I'm going to make sure that I hit this little button that's tiny thing, you just click it. And this one here, and I now I have keyframes on the location and the rotation. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to have this automatically just create keys as I'm changing things. So that button right here, the auto key is what's going to be super helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Now what I want to do is move my cursor to the very end to the 150th frame and I can pilot my camera over to where I want it to be. So let's go say hi to our NPC right there. Excellent. And you'll notice that I've actually got two new keyframes right down here. Because my camera is not actually in focus on this character, I want to change that. And this is dealt with right here in our focus settings over here inside of our details. So we're going to just open this one up and just above this purple spot, I can go ahead and use this little eyedropper and I can click on that and then move my cursor over our character here, click on it. And now our character is actually in focus. So when we go ahead and scrub through our timeline now, you'll notice that we actually clip through this building right here. And that's not what I want to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new pane on the side so that I can actually see what's going on. So to do that up here in the top left hand corner, this little set of pizza boxes that you see up here, I don't really know what else to call it. We'll go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to come down here to layouts. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a two pane side by side layout. So this one right here. And on the left hand side of this, I'm going to come up here where it says perspective. And I'm going to set this to our cine camera actor. So now I'm actually inside of my camera here on the left. And on the right hand side, I can actually move and kind of see what's going on, get a lay of the land. So halfway through this, if I scrub through on my little timeline, you notice that this is right about the time I kind of bonk into that wall. And I don't want that. So I'm going to get to about, oh, I don't know, hairish or so. And I'm going to go ahead and then move my camera over, right? And then I can actually turn and look here. And let's actually scoot it over just a little bit further. Cool. So now you can see I have this nice little arc that this camera is going to be following. So to just kind of double check things, I can go ahead and scrub through this and take a look on that left hand side. And I can say, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm looking for. Like, I'm pretty happy with that. So cool. Now we actually have an animation for our camera. Next, we're going to go ahead and set up a trigger box that will allow the player to actually activate this. The trigger boxes can actually be found underneath the place actors. So this button up here the little box with the plus on it is where we need to go. So I'll click on that and I'm literally just going to type in trigger and we can go ahead and find our trigger box. So I'm going to click and drag this and I want to put this in a place that's going to be really obvious. So I'm going to put it right on the middle of this plinth and I'm going to hit F to zoom in on it. And let's just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so that we can actually for sure hit it. So there we go. So now we have our little trigger box. And to activate this trigger box, we're going to go ahead and set this up inside of the level blueprint. So you can find that underneath this little button right here. Go ahead and click on that. And specifically what we're looking for is this open level blueprint. Then select that. 
Now, this floating window might be in the way, but we're actually going to kind of leave it there, and I'm going to show you why. So with our actual trigger box selected inside of the level, what I can do is right-click, and this very top section says Add Event, and I'm going to open up that one, and then I'm going to open up the collision. I'm going to say Add On Actor Begin Overlap, because our actor, our player, is actually going to overlap this. So there we go. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this one. And then from our execution pin, what we need to do is actually tell it to play that sequence. So what we can do is select the sequence over here inside of the level, and I can right click, and then I can go ahead and say create a reference to fly through. Excellent, let's go ahead and zoom out just a tiny bit. And from this blue pin, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pull out a wire, let go, and then I'm gonna type in the word play. And what we're looking for specifically is this play sequence player right here. Excellent. So let's go ahead and move this node down a little bit. And this play node, we just need to connect the execution pin to that actual trigger box, like so. So let's go ahead and compile and save our code. And let's just dock this up here just in case. So let's go ahead and now actually test this. And what I can do is just right click anywhere inside of this area. And I'm just going to say play from here. So then our player is right here. And if I jump up onto the plinth and walk into that box, the camera will cut. It'll actually begin to move over and check out where that NPC is, and it'll cut when it's done. Now that we actually have this functioning the way that we want, let's go ahead and polish it up. So in part two, what we're gonna do is go ahead and set up the blend between the player and the camera, and then set it up so that the player can't actually move around while the camera's animating.